Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Radolescence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really hope that this video finds you well. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Monarch Parfum, and this one is called His Majestic Oud, so make sure to stay tuned. So this is a company that I believe was launched sometime last year in 2019, late 2019. This is a company that is based out of Bangladesh and they make their own version of more popular niche or designer fragrances. And one could probably guess by the name of this fragrance, this is going to be an oud dominant fragrance. And of course there is that element of royalty in it as well, especially with a name like Majestic, right? His Majestic Oud. And sure enough, when I went on the website and I did a little bit of digging and investigating. This is their interpretation of Creed's Royal Oud. Now, I actually have a fragrance in my collection called Lamani Intense Black. I've been talking about that fragrance for a few years now. Not that often, if I can be honest with you. Maybe I did like one or two videos on it. I know my first video on it was a video that I had done with my friend Carlos when he visited my old apartment. I'm gonna leave the link to that video down below. And I always said that that was an excellent Creed Royal Oud alternative for somebody who doesn't necessarily have 400 plus dollars to shell out for a 100 milliliter bottle. Well, after discovering this fragrance, I can safely say that of all the fragrances that I've tried, this is actually my favorite Creed Royal Oud variant. And it also happens to be the most inexpensive version of it if you're looking at price per milliliter. So I'm really excited to tell you more about the smell, what I get from it, how it transitions on my skin, and how long this interpretation lasts. But let's go ahead and start things off by taking a quick and close look at the presentation. So the box for this fragrance is rather simple, it just has Monarch Parfum written on the front and the sides here and it also has a logo that looks a bit like a monarch butterfly. The back of the box just has the ingredients, the size and the concentration, as well as the flammable sign in the website. There is no information on the bottom, and it should also be noted that nowhere on the box will you find the name of the fragrance. You actually have to open it up to find out what fragrance it is. The bottle itself I think is pretty cool. It just says His Majestic Oud written on the side here, and then on the other side it actually has all of the notes written for convenience. There is also no lot number or discerning information found on the bottom. The cap for this fragrance does click into place but not super securely. You could pick it up from the cap but I just wouldn't take the risk because it is a 100 ml bottle and it's rather heavy. And the distribution on the atomizer is a little bit wide but also a bit narrow as well. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up you will immediately be reminded of Creed's Royal Oud. As a matter of fact, I would say this fragrance got it like 95% close. I have to be honest with you, Creed Royal Oud is a fragrance that I've been familiar with for many, many, many years now. Every single time I make it a point to visit the boutique on Madison Avenue, I smell it again, and I have certainly given them a lot of my money. I have purchased many Creed fragrances at retail. But Creed Royal Oud is one that I never really acquired for whatever reason. Maybe it is because I had that Lamani fragrance for many years ago and I just sort of felt like there wasn't an immediate need to purchase it but I'm so happy that I have this one because I will 100% be wearing this in its place until of course I acquire the real thing but I think that for an alternative and a decently priced alternative at that this one is a really good rendition of Creed's Royal Oud. As a matter of fact I would say this is about 90 to 95% close. It's really hard to really individualize and point out the difference. I can't really isolate it in that way, but it really just puts me in the mindset of Creed's Royal Oud. It opens up with that same sort of bright, lemony, slightly rosy, pink pepper smell. And I think the one thing that people know about Creed's Royal Oud is that it's a fragrance that is an oud for people who are not necessarily lovers of oud. So if you want like an entry level oud, you want something that is not going to be super dark or barnyardy or animalic or aggressive or anything like that, Creed's Royal Oud is really where it's at. There's also oud wood by Tom Ford, which is more of like a creamy resinous interpretation of oud, but this one just does it so well. You have these sort of woodsy nuances in the base. You have the smoothness and that slight sweetness coming from the sandalwood. There's also this musky, like a masculine musky component about it as well. 
where it just comes across smelling clean. Again, the musk that's utilized in here is not making the fragrance smell animalic to any degree whatsoever. It's just a very appealing, very easy to wear fragrance and definitely one that you can wear when it gets a little bit more chilly outside, especially like on a cool spring evening. I can see this one being pulled off. Perhaps I wouldn't wear this one in the dead of summer unless you're wearing it indoors in like a climate controlled environment. Then I think you can wear it whenever you want as long as you're very careful in terms of the application and how many sprays you put on. But all in all, I do think that this is a wonderful, wonderful take on Creed's Royal Oud. And of course, I'm always of the opinion that I like to have the original as well. And so whenever I do have the opportunity to acquire either an inspiration or the original, sometimes I will just do both. As a collector, I personally don't mind having both. And I know for a lot of people, their budget may not necessarily align with that demand. And so they wanna just have one. And so if you're frugal or you're budget conscious, you have my stamp of approval. I think that this one is a very, very close iteration to Creed's Royal Oud, and it'll get you something very similar in terms of its olfactory appeal, but for a very, very low price. So let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is not a unique fragrance at all. This is without a doubt, 100% inspired by Creed's Royal Oud, and it becomes abundantly clear once you smell it. I think that there are a lot of inspirations on the market where you can kind of put your finger on something else that it might be trying to replicate, but you can't quite make up your mind what it is or it's not immediately clicking with this one as soon as I smelled it I said oh this is Creed Royal Oud and I think that that's a testament as to how close they got it in terms of the overall smell I think it's very pleasant I don't think it's going to be as mass appealing as like a Millicene Imperial a Creed Aventus an Arolfa a Himalaya a Silver Mountain Water Jardin de Malfi I think there are a lot of other fragrances from the House of Creed which are much more mass appealing but for a fragrance that has a little bit of edge and a little bit of personality to it I would definitely recommend this one in terms of the longevity on this one I got a about seven hours on my skin which is really good for a fragrance of this concentration and for what you're getting um, I would say in terms of the projection it projected not necessarily beyond an arm's length but I would say within an arm's length between the elbow and the arm for about two to three hours and right around that five and a half hour mark I feel like it started to sit a little bit closer to the skin and it kind of became a skin scent right right about that six hour mark there versatility for this one is pretty good I just think a lot of people would not want to wear this one in the dead of uh, summer. It might be a little bit cloying, it's cloying, especially if you're wearing it around your neck. Um, but I think this one is definitely better suited for formal occasions. But given the price, if you want to wear this one casually, I think that that's fine as well. I think that despite the fact that this is marketed for men, I can see it being rather unisex, the pink pepper, the lemon, the sandalwood, the musk. I mean, these are ingredients that are abundantly found in women's fragrances as well. So again, this is just a recommendation. Recommendation. And I think that there's something about the olfactory profile of this fragrance that lends it to a more mature crowd. And so just keep that in mind. I would probably say 25 and up for this one. Uh, if you're a high school student, you might want to go with like a Millicene Imperial or a Himalaya or something like that. Or even Vetiver Geranium is a pretty good scent too. And in terms of the presentation, I actually kind of like a few of the nuances on here. The bottles are all different colors. I like how they have the note breakdown printed right on the side of the bottle. Um, um, the only criticism would be I want to know what the fragrance is by looking on the box because I do have more than one So sometimes when I'm looking on the box, it's kind of hard to find out what fragrance it is I always have to open it up But again, it doesn't require a whole lot of effort to open a box, right? So my final verdict on this one is I think that of the ones that I've tried This is the best Creed Royal Oud alternative that is currently on the market And it also happens to be the most inexpensive one when we're taking a look at a price per mil analysis. So I really enjoyed this fragrance. Happy to have it in my collection. And thank you so much to the owners of the company for sending me a bottle so that I can enjoy it. I don't know if they were necessarily expecting a review, but I like to try to review as many fragrances as I can on this channel to try to increase this sort of database that I have here on the Red Essence YouTube channel. So... Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. That was my review of His Majestic Oud by Monarch Parfum. If you owner have tried this fragrance or anything else by this company, please do go ahead and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And of course, that includes reviews just like this, top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and a whole lot more. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.